okay? I'll be 50 next week. And, uh, you know, I've had a conversation with the folks that have organized this group and with, you know, our people that we're talking to, like Paul online, all the way in Massachusetts, right? Because this election integrity movement takes way more than a village, folks. It's going to take an army. It's going to take an army of us willing to get in the foxholes and fight like hell for the most important issue that supersedes everything else. Because folks, if we can't depend on, the, on our ballot being counted as cast, everything else falls apart. Everything else is a moot point. You know, so I, if you see me trying to whip out my inner MLK to inspire you and to inspire the folks online, it's because this is a life and death situation for 2.2 million people in America sitting in prisons in the most highly incarcerated country in the world, for millions of DACA recipients across the country who are intimidated and scared that they are going to be deported from the only home that they know, from tens of millions of Americans who won't go to the doctor. I'm a nurse, so this touches me. Who won't go to the doctor because they can't afford their deductibles. They can't afford their medicines. They take half the insulin dose that they should because it's take all their insulin or buy groceries. Folks, we can do better in America. In the wealthiest country in the world, we can do better. We can create a caring economy. And it starts with the election integrity movement demanding transparency in our elections, making sure that we get quality people in seats of power that will create this legislation for us, just like Bill Quirk. We're going to make a hero out of this man, aren't we? We're going to make a hero out of Bill Quirk. And folks, before we get ready to go to lunch, I just want to inspire you one last time, if I can, to make it your job between now and the next Election Integrity Conference next year that you are going to multiply yourself times 10, and we're going to have a 1,000 soldiers on the ground in California ready to make California the model for the rest of the country. Thank you so much. And let's eat.